Hello YouTube, welcome back to an amazing tutorial. My name is Tony Victor and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to get that dark melanin skin. So we are going to be color grading this image together right now. I did a previous video on how I got how I got here. Um this is where this um picture was originally and um, I did a tutorial on how I got where I am right now so you can go check it out so we are just going to be doing, doing color grading for this image right now so the first thing I will do for this image is add contrast to the image with my levels so I just click on my levels adjustment layer and um, I hold my button on it and I drag it inside a bit and um, I do the same for my black I drag it inside a bit you can see the before and the after it's looking shiny so um i want to add um this um what's it called i want this image to be shiny so i'm going to add um a golden gradient map this is a gradient map right now um before we continue i want you to know that color grading is um there is no uh, particular way of color grading color grading is optional you can just do whatever you want whatever makes your image look good whatever you are okay with but this is just a guide to color grading so i'm not saying you should color grade all your images like this this is just a guide on how to color grade okay let's say you want to make your image um have that golden that golden color you're just going to click on your gradient map and um you click on this place if uh, probably your your own is going to show like this i don't know your own is not going to sh not going to show like this so all you have to do is to click on these settings and click on photographic tuning and click on append and it's going to show not like this it's going to show it's going to show like this so you can set it like this like my own right now like this so you can see the name of um the gradient map so i'm looking for gold 2 so this is what i'm looking for gold 2 right here so I'm just I'm just going to click on good too, and it's going to show like this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reduce the opacity. Now I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply first. I'm going to change it to multiply, and um, I'm going to reduce the opacity. So let's say to anywhere you're comfortable with so let me leave it like this okay i think you can see the before and the after you can see it's looking golden and shiny you can actually leave your color going like this if you're okay with it like this but um, i want that um dark melanin skin tone so that's what that's what i'm going for and i'm going to color this image until i get it so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to reduce i'm going to bring that the saturation of the whole image to let's say about let's say 20 okay no let's say to about let's say about 17 or 18 let's leave it at 18 so i reduce the whole um saturation of the image to 7 to 18 and let's see how uh, before and after as you can see is you can leave it here if you want to it's looking good already right now you can see the colors it's looking good but i'll go a little bit further so the next thing i'll do i'll go to the my hue and saturation again i'll go to the reds because i want to work on the reds and the yellows i'm working on the skin so for the reds i'll just take this light to about 11 minus 11 sorry not plus 11 minus 11 i want it to look darker i don't want to take it dark like this so i'll just leave it at 11. Um, no, i'll leave it at 9 okay i'll leave it at 17. 17 is okay i will not touch the yellows because i'm not seeing much yellows on my skin so next now do i go to my photo filter right here this is my photo filter and um I want you to know I'm using um, the adjustment layer for this. So this is the adjustment layer right here. 
so I'm, this is my photo filter I'm going to click on my photo filter and I'm going to add a warming filter I'm going to reduce the density to 7 you already know I'll reduce it to 7 I'll reduce it to 7 okay so the next thing I'll do I'll up my selective color this is where the magic really happens sorry about that so I'll go to my yellows I'll take my black down to about 30 something I'll take my blacks down let's leave it at 32 33 you can see the image is looking good we are getting there we are almost there so I'll take my cyan down minus 2 I'll take my magenta to minus 2 I don't think I'll touch the yellows I'll just leave the yellows there I'll go to my reds because I'm working on the skin tone so I'll go to my reds for my cyan I'm going to put minus I'm going to remove cyan minus 7 and for my magenta I'm going to reduce my I'm going to reduce minus 5 I don't know should I add or remove add or remove okay I'm going to remove minus minus 3 for my magenta then I'm going to add a little bit of yellows let's say 5 to my yellows and uh, my black I'm going to add to my black I'm going to add about 21 to my black let's see how before and after these are before and these are after just a slight difference just a slight difference so I'm still seeing some um, let me see red on our skin so I'm just go to my hue and saturation again and I'll go to my reds and I'll reduce the saturation of my reds to about minus 13 this is optional you might not you should not do it like this but I'm just guiding you on how to color grade color grading is just what you want so I'm going to reduce it to minus 15 and um, I'm going to bring my lightness to minus 12 to make it a bit dark or minus no minus 12 minus 11 is good see we are we are we are we are almost there you can see the skin has changed we are almost there so the last thing I'll do um I'm gonna click my black and white and I'm gonna leave it on normal and I'm just gonna reduce the opacity I'll reduce the opacity I see it before and after so the next thing I'll do for this image I'm going to group everything I just did I'm going to put them in one group by holding by clicking on this the first one here then hold shift and click on the last one and then press ctrl G to group so this is everything we did from here to here but if you notice our lips are kind of dark and these colors here are dark you can see her lips has changed so we are going to bring back the colors on her lips and these colors right here so how to do that you just click on your layer mask right here you add a layer mask to your group and um, if this place is white this your mask is white you're going to be using a black, a black brush right here you can change your brush from here or pressing or by pressing X to change between white and black if it's on white and this place is on white and you brush I mean you're going to brush with a normal brush and you brush it's not going to work you are not going to see the results but if here is on white so you have your brush has to be on black for you to see the result so I'm just gonna use my black brush and bring back I'm going to reduce my flow to about 50 52 50 52 whichever you can even take it uh, lower so i'm going to reduce it to 52 and now uh, i'm going to brush on our lips right now i'm going to brush on our lips right now you are going to see oh no so i'm going to brush on our lips right now You can see it's bringing back the colors on our lips. So
so be careful about this so you don't brush the skin just brush only on the lips okay now we have the color of our lips back and I'm going to do the same for these colors right here be careful so you don't brush inside the skin remember always reduce your brush size depending on the area you are working you are working on okay now you can see our uh, before and after the leaves are back the colors here are back so the next thing I'll do I want to make a hair white I don't like because right now a hair is not that white a hair is yellow but you can leave it like this but I want to make a hair white so I'm just going to click on my hue a saturation the reason why I'm using hue as saturation is because I already know the color of a hair I know it's yellow so I'm just going to click on yellow and I'm going to increase the lightness you can see the hair is white so I'm going to invert this mask and make that change if you can if you can see right now the change is affecting both her skin you can see this is a these are before and these are after her hair is white but her skin is always is also kind of white so I'm just going to mask it out and um, make sure the things affecting only the hair so how to do that this mask this layer mask right here I'm going to invert it by pressing Control I to invert and um, I'll use my white brush because this place is on black now so I'm going to use my white brush this white brush and paint on the hair to get back the white hair I just did remember if your mask is on black you have to use a white brush to reveal and if your um, mask is on white you have to use your white brush you have to use your black brush so I'm just going to paint on the um, only her hair to bring back the white I just did for it like that so you can see before and after it's affecting only the hair right now the before and the after I think this image is looking good like this I like the color grading like this but you can always reduce the opacity of your color grading if you feel it's too much you can just come here and um, reduce the opacity a bit like this these are before and these are after so I think I like it like this so this um, this is the end of this series for this um, particular image uh, unless I have something to teach you with this image again but um, I hope you learn one or two from this video and um, let me show you where we started from the beginning and where we are right now so this is where we started from and this is where we are right now you can see the huge difference we made on this image so if you like this video or you learn something from this video please subscribe like and um, leave a comment it means a lot to me I'll see you guys on my next video